Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're here and back with an abbreviated transmission 4 to 6 p.m. on Sundays. Don't forget the podcast. That sucker's up to 167,000 people downloading it each and every day and growing. Free podcast at InfoWars.com right there on the listen page. Listen how you want, when you want, where you want, and you can save them as well. Also, complete archives at PrisonPlanet.tv, and we restream 24 hours a day. Uh, we have uh, Chris, who made international news. The British were freaking out, the Europeans. Think of how crazy this is. The humans have been so trained that cops, black uniforms, cameras, SWAT teams, checkpoints, all the things that historically should freak us out. You shouldn't be scared of a citizen with a weapon. Like in Switzerland, you see men riding along with their guns on their backs, little kids with guns, never get invaded, everybody's scared of them, peaceful, lowest crime rate in the world. Our model really came off the Swiss, if you really want to know. They are just so afraid because we've been gelded. It's like a nation of... And they're like, it's so scary, people are posting Obama posters. Look at the haze. County Free Press, it's a good newspaper, pretty good newspaper. Uh, in, in Hayes County, uh, this is a place, uh, it's a CPS happy hunting ground down there, kidnapping kids. But uh, the uh, newspaper is uh, says freedom of hate speech. I'm being a little sarcastic about uh, it being a pretty good newspaper. But the point is, the, I mean, this is right south of Austin. And it says, area resident Chuck Lutrick is a Republican, but he says he's outraged and sickened by the flyer stuck to telephone poles around Kyle, putting President Obama's face distorted into a gruesome Joker mask with the words socialism and fascism underneath. This is appalling, Lutrick said. I serve in the military. That's my commander in chief. That's your commander in chief? Well, it's our right and duty to criticize your commander. And your commander, by the way, they go and pick and choose the few people, the very few that are actually against this. You go look at the comments on all these newspapers and TV stations. Again, it's, it's one out of ten is against us. In order to awaken the people in Obama's agenda, Alex is organizing a contest centered around the Obama as the Joker poster that has Democrats and Obamanoids going ballistic, Jones states on his website, Infowars.com. Locals began reporting flyers late last week, primarily plastered around Kyle, but they're part of a nationwide campaign spearheaded by conspiracy theorist and radio host Alex Jones. And then it just goes into saying, I'm basically a hate criminal. There's the headline, freedom of speech, freedom of hate speech. So it's, it's see, it's illegal. Uh, going back to Chris, Chris, isn't it really the media saying it's racist or hate to criticize the president? Aren't they making it a racial issue? Aren't they injecting race to divide and conquer? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I don't even believe in it. When, when people throw out the label of racist nowadays, I want to see what that person's saying, because chances are they're saying something that, that people don't want me to hear, and they, have no, and they have no way to refute what they're saying, so they just slap this label of racist on them. Because you know your sheep, the sheep out there will just have an emotional response to that, and then they, they'll 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 shut them out. You know. So when I hear racist, I actually want to hear what the person has to say. Absolutely. Um, well, it's certainly a political power. I mean, black leaders, white leaders, Hispanic leaders, Asian leaders do it. Because if you come out and make stuff tribal, we're designed to, to act that way at a fundamental level. Uh, people can get a lot of power out of that. But at the same time, how do we not, like, take the open borders? And I know you're saying you're past libertarian at anarchy level, but as long as we have borders and governments, they are clearly using the migrant population to drive down wages and balkanize. But then if I just come out and engage in this, it almost feeds into it. So what do you do? Just let the new world order do whatever they want? Hmm, uh, boy, I kind of got lost there on that. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I kind of... No, 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 I mean, it's a very, very, very complex issue. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I don't blame you for... Uh, I, mean, I mean, I'm dumbfounded, too, because I don't want to go around fighting with people. I don't want to go around 
But I played a video earlier. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, it's up on PrisonPlanet.com of, of, of people at town hall meetings saying they don't want Obamacare, being screamed at that they're racist, and the the Hispanics are running around with Mexican flags screaming and yelling, saying, this is our country, we're going to kick you white people out, and then screaming inward at black people. I mean, it just seems like insanity. I think this whole immigration thing is like, it's a, it's a straw man, you know. If, 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 the, if we could get the government out of our economy and out of our lives, we would all live such prosperous, you know, easy life, lives. We wouldn't care about immigration policy. We wouldn't care about who, who was coming and who was going and all this other stuff. So I think that's what we should be focusing on instead of whether or not certain people can come here or not, you know. It's just that the issue is that we do have this big government system where we have to have the insurance, the ID cards, oh, yeah. everything, and then the illegals are just above it all doing whatever they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get rid of let's get rid of all these all these welfare programs and let's get rid of that stuff so that it's a non issue. Well, that's I agree we with you. No, no, I agree with you, and, and and that's exactly what they were there mad about. They want the free health care. It's 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 not free. Don't they understand that? No, they I'm, don't. They actually don't. Because every time you ask them who's going to pay for it, they go, well, "Why are you always concerned about money?" And they, it's just totally removed from their mind. They, I, I, it, I, I, I'm starting to believe they really do think that the government just produces wealth out of nowhere because they, that's how they act. As uh, somebody uh, who's a black man. When you see the media saying, and of course they know it isn't true, they just brutally are using it cold-bloodedly like Alan Key said last week as a, as a political weapon, but when you just hear them say racist, 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 I mean, have you had people call you racist because you don't like Obama? Oh, I've had people call me racist all my life, all my life because I don't fit into their little box of what they think, you know, an African-American or black or whatever, you know, whatever the PC term is nowadays. If I don't fit into their little box, they call me a racist. And I, I look at it like a badge of honor. I must be saying something right if they're labeling me as a racist. What do they call you, a self-loathing black person? They'll call me racist, Uncle Tom. They'll go, oh, you're the kind of, you're the kind, you must be one of those kind of black people that would join the KKK or, you know, something, this ridiculous, ridiculous lunacy. And I think it's hilarious because they have to resort, they have to resort to insults like that because they cannot, they cannot argue. They, they have no argument to bring to the table. Yeah, they must think the Chappelle uh, piece is real when he plays the part of the black guy. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess so. <laughs> you ever seen that? It's pretty funny. Oh, yeah, it's kind of funny, yeah. <laughs> oh. I always ask them, tell me, tell me what position that I've, you know, if that, tell me one argument I've made that's a racist argument. Stop, stop just having a gut reaction and, you know, labeling me as, labeling some group as a racist group because you don't like what their position is. Tell me what is racist about their position, and I haven't heard any answers yet. So. Well, I've also <laughs> found that the so-called left are a bunch of control freak eugenicists. You know, if you're talking about an actual, even mid-level policy person, they're all the same. And and Margaret Sanger and all of it, I actually find they're the real racist who absolutely. are smart enough. Sorry, go ahead. Oh yeah, absolutely. They, they, I think I think I think like for example, the Democratic Party. In my opinion, the Democratic Party looks at black people in this country as like purchased votes. You know, these are my voters. These are my votes. I own them. I've, I've propagandized them for so long that they're mine. And if you try and open up their mind a little bit, they're going to lab label you as a racist so that people won't hear what you have to say. So I think they're the real racist. Well, I agree. I mean, when, when Keith Oberman and Chris Matthews and uh, Carlos Watson and all these guys get up on TV every day, I mean, every time I turn it on, they're saying, and I, I probably watch it twice a week, it must just be wall to wall. So I've seen CNN that it's racist, and here's the local paper, freedom of hate speech. And uh, it's saying, and I've got national Spanish TV saying, arrest me, that it's racist. I mean, in America, I am being told that I m need to be arrested, and then they've got the state attorney general preparing for felony charges against somebody for sticking them on telephone poles. But then Obama can be in the Washington Post saying, stick my posters and my campaign signs on stop signs. Hmm. I mean, is that not hypocrisy? Sounds like it to me. 
Well, there's a lot of questions I could throw out at you, but I got a bunch of calls specifically for you. We've got on the line the gentleman who was out there with his AR-15. This woman walks over, the poster woman for dingbats of the planet. I don't mean to be mean, but I mean I'm just so sick of idiots. And she comes <laughs> over, <laughs> and she comes over and goes, "You've got a fully automatic AK-47." And they always act like fully automatic is like a hydrogen bomb. 